Thank you for joining us as we continue to talk about cardiovascular disease. Now, listen, listen to this. This is a very important protein that you should have tested when you go to the doctor. It's called C-reactive protein. There's so much literature out there on this. Again, it's C-reactive protein, and you can look it up online and do your homework on it. But the bottom line is it's inflammation to the blood vessel wall. This is so important that they found in several studies that even if people had, uh, it didn't matter what their LDL or their cholesterol level was in relationship to heart disease, because if their C-reactive protein was high, their risk for heart disease and stroke were through the roof. Okay, so we have the blood vessel wall, okay, and we're cutting the blood vessel wall open again, and we're seeing that there's inflammation in that blood vessel wall, and that blood vessel begins to thicken. Let's talk about that in a minute. What's going on that's causing that inflammation in the blood vessel wall, okay? C-reactive protein is increased, our risk for heart disease is increased, and our blood vessel wall here begins to thicken. So what causes this? Well, here are a couple of key points to dealing with C-reactive protein. Number one is infection. We talked about this before, but infection, particularly, we know cytomegalovirus, we know chlamydia, pneumonia, we know that uh, various viruses like Coxsackie virus, Borrelia, all these various infections can be related as we look right here into the blood vessel wall, and that infection can be sitting inside the blood vessel wall, causing more inflammation and thickening. And as you can see, this highlighted here, this, this thickening causes narrowing to the blood vessel. And you can see the dimension here begins to narrow as the wall increases. Number two, also things like um, uh, chemicals can cause inflammation to the blood vessel wall, like heavy metals. This is where chelation becomes important. You, you, many of you have heard of EDTA chelation, which can be used to help eliminate the calcium buildup inside the blood vessel wall. But in addition to that, we have heavy metals like mercury, lead. So if we looked in here and you could see, I'm going to put these right into the blood vessel wall. You're going to see, if you will, just for visual for a moment, the metals are, can be embedded inside here, making it more difficult to get to the infection that we've pointed out inside the blood vessel wall. So it makes it even more difficult to eliminate the infection and eliminate that chronic inflammation. Another thing that can lead to chronic inflammation can be dietary food allergies, like wheat, like gluten. If people have allergies to various foods, this can cause chronic inflammation to the blood vessel wall. It's another stimulant. So you have to think of food also causing, again, as we look inside here, this, to this blood vessel wall. So C-reactive protein is critically important. And so what do we want to do? We want to use antioxidants and other powerful natural agents to decrease inflammation in the body, reverse the infections that we're dealing with. We also want to remove our heavy metals and toxins, and all of a sudden we can impact C-reactive protein. Get the data on C-reactive protein. This is much more important than cholesterol and completely ignored. And now more and more cardiologists are testing for it, but it's really lifestyle, diet, exercise, removing, putting the antioxidants in and reversing the infections and removing those chemicals and heavy metals that are critical to C-reactive protein. Thank you for joining me at the Invita Whiteboard as we continue to tackle cardiovascular disease. <laughs>